T7. Take a good look at it. I added an extended lens on it for a wider angle view. This is what it's taken for me to get started into this photography and video editing. Of course, y'all see my baby, which is the MK3. Also, I just bought the Smooth Q gimbal for my iPhone. And if you're mixing, these here are a beast, as you can see on the bottom. Take a look at that. And of course, iMac 21.5. And this little baby here, this focus right, that two by two is a green light. But yeah, you got the same man right there. And over here we got the complete control 61 key. Now, the MK3, it go into keyboard mode, as you can see right here. I'm trying to light it up for you. As you can see right here, going to chords and keyboard mode, which is a beast, but ain't nothing like playing out your keys. And over here, bought this mountain stand. This here big for my my phone when I'm doing hand handheld views. See my box over there. I took that out of the box so y'all can see what that looking like. The camera has to sit on top. Keep it with a steady hand, you know what I mean? You sit there right there. Oh, I'll be mixing BX8M audio. Come back over here. It's that camera lens. Go on the Canon T7, made by Lura. It's like about 40 bucks. But it give you a wider view than the lens that come with the camera. So I'm just getting started. Any suggestions, holler at your boy. And this is the box for the smooth gimbal, which I'm gonna do a product review tutorial on it once I get it working. Somebody was telling me to go with the DJI, but another guy showed me this one right here. We'll do just the job at a lower price. So, you know me, do what I do. That's for connecting the camera to the computer, unload some of that footage. And people, this is a new 